OK, so looking at the first example here, we've got a variable x which follows a normal distribution. That's the mean, which we're going to call mu. And over here, we've got the standard deviation, which is sigma squared. And the question is asking us to find the probability that x is greater than or equal to 220. Okay. First thing I'm going to do here is just a little sketch. It's worth doing these certainly at the start of some questions. So I've got a mean of 200. My question is talking about a value of 220, which will be somewhere over here on the right. And I want the probability x is greater than that. So I'm looking for this area over here. And if you do drawings like this, it's com a common sort of thing to do is to write down what sigma equals just at the side. So if sigma squared is 121, sigma will be 11. Okay. So we know just from looking at this, our answer is going to be substantially smaller than 0 0.5. Just by doing a drawing, you know sort of what you're aiming for. But what we said we do every time we do a question, instead of working with our variable x, we work with our variable z, where z is equal to x minus mu over sigma. Okay. So, what is z going to be here? If that is our little value of x, the 220, z is going to be 220 minus the mean over the standard deviation. And you need calculators for these because you're going to get decimals cropping up all the time. So what value of z do you get here? You're going to be doing 20 divided by 11. What have we got? 1.81 Okay, so we do it three decimal places, 1.818. Okay, that's our Z number. <coughs> now, we want a greater than. And we've already said that the tables in the book, so page 172 of the textbook and page 19 of the formula book, okay, the tables are less than tables. Now, in this question, we want the probability that Z is greater than or equal to 220. Okay. If it was less than, I could just write down phi. Sorry, that's not 220 there, that's 1.818 okay, on the Z number. So if it was less than, not greater than, I could just say I want phi of 8.18. But phi is less than, somebody's already said what we have to do if we want greater than. 1 minus. One minus yes. Okay. Because the area under the whole curve is 1. So if you ever do a greater than, you need to do a 1 minus here. Okay. So now what you need to do is look up this 1.818 in the tables. So if I put the tables up here, okay, I want 1.8 to start with. 1.8 is down here, 1.8. 1 1.81 is the 0.8. 9649 1.818 I need to come over to the last bit and the column 8 has got a 6 so it's not going to be 9649 it's going to be 9649 plus 6 which is 9655 so we said that's 9655 so it's not point that and that has to be taken away from 1 and if you do that, you're going to get an answer, and it should be 0.345. 0 0.345. Okay. Sometimes you might want to give your answer as a percentage. So basically, we've said if x follows normal distribution with a mean of 200, standard deviation of 121, sorry, variance of 121, the probability that x is bigger than 220 is 3.45%. Okay, that's the basic procedure that we do. Okay. Okay, for the next example, part B, the same question. We still got x is normal, 200 and 121, and we want the probability that x is less than 186. If it's less than, it's going to be phi of something. Okay. And here, you just always do the x minus the mean 
over the standard deviation and there's nothing wrong in going straight to that step. It's a less than question, so you're going to have phi. There's your x value. It's x minus the mean, mu, which is the first number in the brackets, divided by the standard deviation, which is the square root of the variance. And if you work that out, that comes out to be phi of minus 1.273. Okay. Now, if you look in the tables, the tables in the first column don't have any negative numbers there. But it does tell you in the textbook and in the formula book what to do. It says phi of a negative is equal to 1 minus phi of the positive. And it's purely to do with the symmetry of the curve. Okay. So if you have phi of a negative, you just do 1 minus phi of the positive. So we've got to look up phi of 1.273. So if I just do that one on here again, it starts off on 1.2, which is here. 1.27, I'm getting 8980. And a 3 has got a 6 on here, which I've got to add on. So it'll be 8986. 8986, that's naught point. So that 1 shouldn't be there. Naught point. And it's 1 minus that. And if you work that out, you should get, well, what have we got? 0.1014. Okay, so there we go. That's what we've got for these. Now what we're going to look at next is trying to work out whether we can actually use the graphics calculators to do this phi thing instead of the tables in your book.